want to just and continue. Yeah, just, just a few conversations. Okay, the first um, <clears throat> in the round table was divided into sort of three sections, and the first was um, about capture or filming. Um, I should say that also amongst us was uh, Jeff Clark, the CEO of Kodak, who in our uh, Getty event um, came out to, and said that actually Kodak is absolutely committed to film. And this, and again in the public event that evening, and this was a moment where you know there had been a lot of. Uh, you know, speculation that film was over, and actually to this day I keep being asked, does Kodak still make film? And, and they do, uh, very much so. And um, so that alone was, is to try and stop the understanding, that, or the misunderstanding that the film is not available anymore. It is available, it's very much available. And I think the whole point of this, and I'm an artist, so my context is in, within galleries and, and museums, and what's very important to me, and which is as, as something that's having spoken to Chris a bit about this, is that a lot of um, filmmakers are not allowed to choose, you know, actually don't have the right to, or the authority to choose the medium with which they want to make their work. And in art, of course, in my world, um, you know, mediums, and I pluralise it deliberately to give it power, are what artists use. You know, we all know that artists use, you know, paint, they can use print, they can use photography, film, sculpture. That, that is, makes sense to everybody in this room. Um, and for, you know, for, for within cinema to be told you can only use digital was a, was a very foolhardy thing. So it was, this was the beginning of our discussion was uh, about how to encourage uh, people to shoot on film again and saying that it's available was the, one, the first thing and also, in a way, to counteract the negativity about film, you know, the pessimism. Um, and so that was, and then we moved on to uh, exhibition, that, you know, it's very important that, you know, clearly uh, cinema is in India and in much of the world in a, in a, in a mass way is, is, a, is become digital cinema. But that doesn't mean that it film's not available in film, um, some theatres and, and, and archives and in museums and also um, for special occasions like Dunkirk. And then the final um, thing was, was preservation. So we split it into these three areas. Funnily enough, I don't think I should be the one answering that question, because I'm in an, I show in museums and galleries, and my uh, um, I, my desire is for the works that are made in as artworks are not in any way digitised, because for me, a digitisation of a a film made by an artist in an art museum is a facsimile and not the original. And we've talked about this a lot, but in, in the art world, the word, you know, we use the word medium, we use the word medium specificity, which means that if you go and see a painting, it is a painting. It's not a, a digital copy of the painting. And the museum is the place that protects the original object. And, and we, have to protect, we have to apply those rules within um, museology. We have to also tr apply them to... Um, you know, within cinema, but I'm not the person to answer about streaming, of course, I, you know, it's well for Chris, I think. No, but there's a part two. Oh, sorry. Well, for a start, we're going to stop talking about film versus digital. This whole reframing the future of film is to start bringing in film plus digital. We're living in a, 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 a landscape where we can have both. You know, everything is about choice. So it's very strange on this one issue we should be reduced to just one option again. And, and it's all about choice. So um, I don't know if that answers the question because I didn't quite because hear it. it but. Because as an artist you should have the choice to decide the medium you want to shoot on. And that's what the dialogue is all about. That's what we are all looking at. That I should have the choice to preserve the film the way I want to preserve it. And I'm sure if I've made a film, I, I, I don't like to see celluloid, man, I try to push. I remember when it was chosen in Telluride, and uh, this, uh, we had great friends there, and they said it's too expensive to ship the print. 
I said, I'll offer to pay for it, but I'd rather have you watch in the way I've shot the film. And that's what we all aspire to be as creative people, is that we want <coughs> the original format in which we have shot the film to be seen in that. Well, I mean, a lot of the point of these events and the point of the, the conversation we had this morning was in dispelling certain myths. Um, really, there's a rise because there's been a very powerful uh, financial imperative for uh, electronics companies and, and technology companies to try and transform the industry. And that's always been the same. There's nothing new there. But what happens as a result is you tend to get accusations to undermine a particular medium, in this case film, uh, accusations that it's more expensive or it's prohibitively expensive or it's too difficult or there aren't any projectionists left to project the film prints, these kind of things. Um, and we've spent the last few years just patiently explaining that you know, film is here to stay and it's a wonderful medium that we can all enjoy. And we've continued to work in the same way we've been working for, for many years. Um, and as Tasta said, it's really not about film versus digital. Um, it's about preserving this medium for you know, future generations of filmmaking to be able to use it. Um, and so, I don't want to repeat any of the misconceptions because <laughs> they, get, they get propagated. But uh, you know, ultimately, what's been really exciting about the meeting today, a meeting with leading members of, of the Indian film community, is there's a spirit of optimism, there's a spirit of uh, film having uh, a wonderful future and, and great potential. And there's a lot of excitement around it, uh, a lot of excitement from filmmakers and exhibitors and, and everybody else in terms of continuing to give audiences a reason to leave their homes and come together in a movie theater to experience a story. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I just want to add that uh, just after the meeting, Two, two DOPs have confirmed and they have said that they're very sure they're going to go. Sudeep Chatterjee, who shot Padmavat and who shot all Bansari's films. And you also had Santosh Shivan, who's going to be shooting his next film on film, on satellite. So I think the meeting translated into uh, even, even someone like Shah Rukh, who was there, he had his own great opinion. He's, been, he's, he's messaged me and he's, he's sort of so excited about the fact that, that this medium is something which he thinks should be there for all of us. And we are all very excited about it. And actually, I just want to say something more about the poetics of the medium. I felt very strongly this morning, it was quite an emotional meeting, yeah. because there was actually around that table a profound understanding of the, the qualities of, and the nature of film, um, which almost every person felt. And, you know, film is a different medium. I could not make my work with digital. and. Um, I, my, I work with all the, in, you know, what I call the disciplines of film. Um, so, you know, and I'm very, for me, it's about the poetics of the medium. I'm into chemistry and into the light and into the magic and the blindness and all such of this wonderful medium. And it was a very, very strong sense today, uh, I thought, that everyone kind of understood yeah. the, 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 the sort of fundamental differences of this medium. From, from a digital medium. So it's not like we are in any way trying to go back. We're actually trying to go into the future. And my aim, my personal aim, is that I want it to become normal to shoot film. I want it to be normal. I don't want to be, I mean, we both don't want to be doing this in 15 years' time. <laughs> we want it to be normal. We, want, we don't want to have to, resi you know, meet the artists and filmmakers don't want to have this resistance anymore because it's just there and it's fine. Let it just be normal.